Hi everyone, welcome to the Diva for Rhino video tutorials. This is Kara, and today I'm going to go over how to customize the Diva DaySim simulation report to uh, reflect your company logo and website. So when you run a climate-based metrics uh, using the Diva toolbar, automatically a DaySim simulation report is created and you can find it in your uh, results folder. It's an HTML file. And this file is created using a template that's in the uh, Diva, the C Diva drive. So if, if we change that template to reflect a company logo or your, your own personal logo, then um, all of the simulations that you uh, will do in the future will show that, um, that updated design. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our C drive or, um, and to the Diva folder. And we're going to need two, fold, uh, two files for this. One is the Diva template, which is here. It's an HTML file. It's just called Diva template. And the other is um, the logo that you want to display. Uh, you can actually keep the logo anywhere you'd like. Um, I, For convenience, I kept it right in the same location as the uh, template file. But it doesn't really matter. The only thing that's important is that you know um, how to locate it uh, using the address, um, the directory for your computer. And so we have those two uh, files. Now I have this uh, file as a JPEG and it's I believe 825 by 150 pixels. Um, we will uh, learn how to adjust the pixels to uh, make it look proper in the Diva template um, or uh, to have it display properly in the Diva template um, later on. So to manage or modify HTML files, some people use Dreamweaver, um, but this is a fairly simple thing that we're going to do. So um, all we really need to do is open this in a uh, text pad. Now, if you're not familiar with, um, sorry, and, and just to uh, reiterate, uh, I just right clicked on the Diva template and I clicked text pad and that will automatically open the file in text pad. When you open it, you can see uh, a series of just basically uh, lines of text. If you're not familiar with an HTML file, it may look a little um, overwhelming, but um, trust me, there was only a couple of things that we need to change and it's fairly straightforward uh, if you follow um, these directions. First thing we're going to do is click on view and turn on our line numbers. And then we can scroll down here to line 200. And this is where uh, the file controls the website uh, that you go to if you click on the logo and also the um, file that or, or the image that's displayed. So I want to change the website to company website for Land Partners. So it's www.landpartners.com and um, I'm going to change this directory to the company logo image that I have before. So since it's in the Diva directory, I'm just going to type the name of the file exactly how it is. And uh, it's a JPEG, so I'm going to give the JPEG extension here. And then I'm going to click Save and close the file. And now if we go back to where we have our template, if we double click on it, it will open up um, the template itself. So you can see that we've successfully switched out the um, logo, the Diva logo for the company logo. And if we click on here, it will bring us to uh, the Land Partners web page. But we can also see that there are some problems. For instance, the, there's a black background here which uh, isn't uh, as good. Well, for this, we'd probably want a white background and the logo's stretched out. So we're going to try to fix uh, those two things by going back and editing um, the uh, file a little bit uh, more. So we'll close that. And if we go back to our folder and open up the file again in TextPad and turn on our line numbers. And this time, though, we're going to go to line 84 where we see um, some information that uh, relates to the header and we see it says background and color and font size. 
Um, and here, here's where we're going to change the uh, black of the header um, background to white. Now, the this number here is used by HTML to specify a color, and um, 000, zero uh, specifies black. But if you uh, are interested in some other color, you can simply just go to the internet and you know type in HTML color color codes and click on the HTML color picker. And here you'll see that as I pass the mouse over different colors, a different six uh, six value number shows up here on the right hand side. And uh, you can make a note of a color that you want and then plug it into the report. Um, since uh, in my case I really just want to change it to white, um, white's pretty easy because I can actually just type in white here in the background. So that's good. Now we still have the other problem of the logo being stretched out a little bit too far. So we're going to scroll down back down to line 200 and here if we scroll over a little bit be just beyond where we entered our um, image information. You can see that it says width and uh, the height as well. The height is fairly good. It's about it's 75 pixels, which is fine. Um, it's the width that really, really probably want to change. So um, we can go in and try uh, a different value. Um, I'm going to try 400 here and click save, and we can close that now. So if we go back to our file and double click on it again. You can see uh, it works out pretty well. We've got the black background, um, the black background has been changed to white and we have the uh, properly sized uh, LAN Partners logo here at the top. So uh, having done that now, if we go ahead and we run one of our climate-based metrics in Diva using the toolbar, we'll see that as soon as the simulation is done running, we now have the simulation report uh, and our logo here at the top uh, properly displayed. So I hope that was helpful and uh, lets you know how to adjust uh, the report to reflect your uh, personalized information. And thanks, and we'll see you next time.